we need to talk about Fall Out Boy's song, Church, is dark. Alright, so I put a poll out on the community page of my channel asking you guys which song from Mania I should explain first, and this one won. So we're going to be talking about Church by Fall Out Boy, and like I said, it's freaking dark. Like, it's really dark. Like, my soul feels a little bit darker after having listened to it, and I hope that your souls are not darker after having listened to this too. If you don't believe me, listen to this. I am just a human trying to avoid my certain doom. What happened to him? I think we're all gonna wanna go to church and cleanse our souls after listening to this song, perhaps. But that shouldn't keep you from thinking about the song and assessing the thoughts that are presented in the lyrics. So lyric theorists, let's jump into this. Oh hey, while you're listening to me talking right now, be sure to be commenting below a Fall Out Boy song you want me to explain next. I made the video, that's your job. He says, if you were church, I'd get on my knees, confess my love, I'd know where to be, my sanctuary, you're holy to me. So the thing that sticks out to me, first of all, is he's going for a lot of sound correlation. Choruses are supposed to be a especially euphonic, and so he's hitting really hard on the sound E. Knees, B, sanctuary, holy, to me. He wants it to sound nice, and that's partially because it's some sort of intense uber love song with a lot of darkness. It's like a love song for emo kids. If you were church, if you were the worship place of God, I would be praying, basically is what he's saying. Like, I would attend church. I'd confess my love. So he's using a lot of like religious words here. Be on my knees, confess. My sanctuary, he calls her. His safe place. He says, you're holy to me. Holy means perfect or blameless without any wrongdoing at all. And so he's saying that she's the love equivalent of holy. Now that's the chorus. Let's look at the first verse. Take the pain, make it billboard big and swallow it for me. Time capsule for the future. Trust me, that's what I'll be. Now this is a contrast, a sharp contrast to the chorus where she's holy and perfect. And here he's saying, take the pain, make it billboard big and swallow it. First of all, you can't swallow a billboard. And where was the pain? coming from if she was so wonderful. Apparently, he's causing some pain for her possibly. Or maybe there's just some pain involving their relationship. She's perfect for him, but is the relationship perfect for her? Well, he's telling her, just kind of suffer through it for the moment. Swallow it for me, time capsule for the future. And he tells her, trust me, that's what I'll be. He basically wants her to stuff her feelings and just enjoy the moment as he worships her essentially. And then we get into verse two where it gets super dark. He says, I love the world, but I just don't love the way it makes me feel. Got a few more fake friends and it's getting hard to know what's real. So this whole song started out being about this girl and it was church and I'm worshiping you and it's kind of like, you know, positive light energy in the song. And then now all of a sudden we get into verse two and it's like, I'm depressed. And if death is the last appointment, then we're all just sitting in the waiting room. I am just a human trying to avoid certain doom. And I kind of like this verse, but I also kind of don't. If the verse was by itself, I wouldn't like it because it's overly dramatic but the fact that he mixes it in with all of the light, churchy, happy imagery and this relationship, but then also maybe this relationship isn't so good in verse one, gives the song a lot of dynamics. But is the song well organized or unified? I'm not quite sure. Essentially, we have this interesting arc where he's like, I worship you, you're so great. Oh, hey, there's pain, just ignore it. And then in verse two, we get to the pain that he's trying to ignore. So in that way, at least the song is unified. Successfully ignoring pain by focusing on something that I really, really like. Oh, hey, you should just ignore the pain too. Let's try to enjoy the moment. Do what I do, like ignore the pain. And then in verse two, oh, the pain is too much. And that's basically how I see the song Church by Fall Out Boy. Guys, I'd love to know your thoughts and ideas on this song. Did I get it right? Or am I completely missing something here? Should we be throwing a party and having little hats and eating birthday cake? I think not. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to comment a Fall Out Boy song that I should explain in the future. Oh, and don't forget to watch these videos. You'll like them. I promise. Talk to you next time.